when I don't know. I think that take that are right to love Dick Dale. That's a track from his forthcoming LP called Calling Up Spirits, which is going to be on Beggar's Banquet Records uh, in the fullness of time. And that was Nitrous. More tracks than that, obviously, in future programmes. This is Augustus Pablo. Augustus Pablo, of course, and that's Jar Dread. And uh, the first track coming up from our session guest tonight, Hooten 3 Car. They've got an LP, their first, on the market just about now, which is called Cramp Like a Fox. I won't explain the title of it to you, but uh, it is, according to the band anyway, uh, you know, something to do with activities. Well, what my father used to refer to as farmyard activities. I shall say no more. Uh, the first track on it, though, is Hallways, and it's also the first track that the band do for us now. <laughs>
concert, R. Kelly and D'Angelo. More live music. 9 p.m. Monday night on the UK's live music station. 97 to 99 FM. Radio 1.
Sorry, that whistle then was me leaning too close to the microphone with my exciting new headphones. When violence becomes more powerful than justice, and fear becomes more powerful than hope. The press release that accompanies this record starts to be released at the end of April, another number from Eve Records, by the man himself. Which particular man himself are you wondering? Well, it's uh, Pablo Gagano in this case, and that's called One Time. And before that, it was Hooten Three Car in session, their first number for us, which is called Hallways. And uh, yesterday in the post at Peel Acres, I got a letter and a record from Cats of Plate Records of Swarthmore in Pennsylvania, uh, a seven-inch EP called Evading the Devil's Darts, with seven artists on there, seven tracks, and seven artists that I'd never previously heard of. But all of them really worth hearing. I think this one's by Charlie McAllister. I thank my lucky stars. Well, today I met this guy who was just passing by and somehow I ruined his $75 pants. my face and I thank my lucky stars over and over again because my face would be smashed if it wasn't for them so I drove away in my car and I fell asleep at the wheel and I dreamt of a rusty saw That's Charlie McAllister on Cats of Plate Records from the EP Evading the Devil's Darts. And during Sound City in Leeds a couple of weeks ago, I met a bloke who said he was one of the members of Magoo. And I think if you're going around trying to impress people, you wouldn't say, I'm one of the members of Magoo, because it wouldn't have that much impact, really. But a fine band, nevertheless, and they're in session tonight. And this is their valley as a whole.
I've got loads of information about uh, Magoo's current and future activities, which I'll read out later in the programme, but that's their valley as a whole. And uh, during the week, I've been listening to this next record quite a lot because I've been doing programmes for various unsuspecting people overseas, and uh, I've put this in all of the programmes that I've done because I think it's so wonderful. This is Spidernet.
Well, you may not get much in these programmes, but you do get the best. This is a 12-inch on No U-Turn Records, Spidernet, and it's called The Sleeper. After the news, late arriving rock dudes. 97 to 99 FM, Radio 1. A gunman who's killed 32 people in Tasmania is holed up in a house holding three people hostage. He went on the rampage in Port Arthur on the Australian island. This woman witnessed some of the killings. There was a, a little girl being killed. The guy that we were with had to go and help take a stretcher in and the mother was saying, you've got to get my baby to the hospital quick, quick, but she was dead already. People fled as he carried on firing. Len Gore runs a local hotel. He took one of the cars and drove alongside a car parked at the Port Arthur store. He shot a girl through the heart and took her husband hostage, which he, he has still got him hostage. Armed police had been in contact with the gunman by phone, but reporter Red Harrison says that's changed. The last few calls he simply hasn't answered. So that's worrying the police, particularly because he's got three hostages. Because every time police move close to the building, this guy just opens fire again. Around 50 people have been killed by a bomb in Pakistan. It exploded on a bus near the city of Lahore. Two men are being questioned after a man was crushed to death when a car overturned on top of him. It happened on a campsite at Donington Park race circuit in Leicestershire. Demonstrators dressed as Robin Hood and his merry men are staging a climb-in in Sherwood Forest. They're sitting in the trees to protest against plans for the Mansfield bypass. Man United march on in the Premiership. 5-0 winners over Nottingham Forest to go six points clear of Newcastle. Alex Ferguson sensing victory. I think that everything else, the second goal was the, the turning point. It was a lucky break we needed. And I think when you win things, you do get breaks like that. Hopefully that's a, a great omen for us. Derby County's 2-1 win against Crystal Palace puts them in the Premiership. A hat-trick from Gaza has helped Rangers to their eighth successive Scottish title in a 3-1 win over Aberdeen at Ibrox. And Damon Hills failed to make it four Grand Prix wins in a row. Teammate Jack Villeneuve took the European title with Hill coming in fourth. Radio 1 Newsbeat, I'm Jane Bolger. Radio 1, more music.
This IndyCar racing, what I believe is called a load of arse, I've just been watching someone on one of the monitors here in the uh, Radio 1 studios. I uh, actually looked up one of those wonderful moments of people doing sort of complicated street handshakes and things and getting them wrong and hurting their fingers, which made me laugh a lot. That was uh, the Crown Hate Ruin on Discord Records from an LP called Until the Eagle Grins, and the track was Late Arriving Rock Dudes. And uh, a note here to tell me the Hooten 3 car play with Sammy Ammon, Texas is the Reason, on Tuesday, May the 21st, at uh, Gravity Dionysus Union Street, Kingston upon Thames. And the same note tells me that at Gravity Dionysus Union Street, Kingston upon Thames, China Drum play a free gig tomorrow. That's Monday, the April the 29th. And it's a small venue, so get there early to ensure you get in, is the advice that I'm given here. Right, a uh, Hooten 3 car, therefore, and Play Doh. Kids. That's a Hooten 3 car in session this afternoon or this evening, whichever it is, this evening, I suppose, really. Play Doh is the title of that. Right. Insert magnificent record into the slot marked B. <laughs>
What a magnificent record that is. Mav Casherel from one of a couple of LPs that he made, uh, I don't know, three or four years ago. And of course then, since then, as far as I know, absolutely nothing at all, which is extraordinary, because that is great. Bolingo Ya Yisu is the title of that track. Uh, Bongo Wendy on guitar. And uh, speaking of motor racing, which I was not all that long ago, um, uh, Murray Walker was on particularly good form this afternoon during uh, the European Grand Prix uh, from the Nürburgring. And even if you don't like motor racing, it was an extraordinarily exciting uh, race. But at one stage, when Michael Schumacher overtook somebody, uh, he noted the uh, crowd's massive Teutonic approval, <laughs> which I thought was very Murray Walker-esque. This is uh, Sebado, a track from the LP Lounge Axe, issued in favour of a place called Lounge Axe in uh, Chicago, which is under threat from, uh, I don't know, you know, from uh, licensing authorities or something. This is called Whole Hog. <laughs> I could move to London, Cardiff, Birmingham, Manchester, Glasgow. It doesn't matter. They all suck. But they all get the evening session. The evening session. The show that's got immigration worried is available all over the UK. Weekdays at 7 on 97 to 99 FM Radio 1.
Neat enough, I'd say. That's Bandulu from the LP Cornerstone on Blanco y Negro. Running time. Before that, it was Sebado from the Lounge Axe compilation. And at the Wild Club Norwich Arts Centre on Monday, according to the list that I've got here anyway, it's going to be... Who is it going to be, uh, having said all of that? Hold on a second. Here, here, where's the right page? Here we go. Bennett uh, from Reading are going to be playing there. That's on Monday, along with Halftime Oranges, Hard Cousin and Mr Jolly. And I mention all of this because Magoo are going to be there on the 29th of June, uh, supporting Calvin Party. And they're, of course, in session tonight. From Magoo, a couple of tunes the first of them being Goldwyn.
More merrymaking with Magoo in session, the first tune being called Goldwyn and the second one being called I Spy. My apologies to the band for not broadcasting the tracks in the order that they wish me to do so, but that's uh, fairly often the case, I have to say. Here's a postcard from John Carr from uh, Louth Links, and he says, amongst other things, had a great time on Sunday night with you and Kershaw on the radio. It was a lovely warm spring night, and I sat outside with the sheep, Lincolnshire Long Wolves. And, uh, well, I hope you're having a similarly enjoyable night tonight, John, although it's probably not quite so warm, and I hope that the sheep are on good form. Here's a uh, tune that ought to probably suit the mood, I think, from uh, many years ago. <laughs> Thank you. 
one finds that one likes that enormously. That's Polvo on Touch and Go Records from the LP Exploded Drawing, uh, High Wire Moves. Before that, from, well, sometime between 1926 and 1939, Coleman Hawkins Orchestra, and uh, it's the talk of the town. Hoot and Three Car, well, they're playing at the legendary TJ's Newport on the 9th of May, the Duchess of York in Leeds on the 18th of May, Godalming Angel, can't say that, Godalming Angels on the 20th of May, the Gravity Kingston, as I mentioned earlier on, on the 21st of May. Then they're off to Scotland to tour for the first week in June, no uh, venues or dates given, and then a two-week tour of England. The new LP, as I mentioned also earlier on, Cramp Like a Fox, is out on Monday on Out of Step Records. <laughs> sentence from my karaoke script. Or fact. Please. Please, God. Don't let any of this be true. BBC One and Channel Four jointly present Dennis Potter's karaoke. Sandro, why do you have a gun? What sort of story does that come from? Beginning tonight at 9.30 on BBC One. I've never run a trail before that said stop listening to this radio programme and watch television. My goodness me. Don't you dare.
Christian Vogel, of course. From, that's what I say, of course. When Christian Vogel from the LP Body Mapping, and that's while you sleep. It is amazing. It heightens the sense of paranoia when they get you to run a jingle that says, I mean, run a trail that says, don't listen to the radio, watch the television. Don't watch the television, listen to the radio. That's what I recommend. This is Vita Pop. Check, 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 check in. Okay. Maybe a little more, if it's feasible. Hi, thanks for coming to the show. Fire, 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 fire,
That's Anthony B and Fire Upon Rome, 12 inch on Green Sleeves Records. And uh, before that is Vita Pub, possibly Vita Pub, but Vita Pub sounds more realistic. I think on Candy Ass Records. Uh, thanks for coming to the show, was the title of that. This is uh, Amp, a track from their debut LP. Should have played you more of this, but the tracks are pretty long, to be honest. The LP is called Sirens. Uh, this is Merry Go Down.
this is Amp doing it to you on Linda's Strange Day Records and uh, Merry Go Down is the title. Here's another one from the makeup. So a puzzled applause for the makeup, they live by night. 97 to 99 FM, Radio 1, Newsbeat. A gunman who's killed 32 people in Australia is under armed siege. Police on the island of Tasmania are surrounding a house where he's holding three hostages. His motive's unknown, but he has a history of mental illness. State Premier Tony Rundle. All Tasmanians and all Australians will be sick at heart tonight at this dreadful massacre. All of the state's medical resources and the police resources are being thrown in to assist. We express on behalf of all Tasmanians the sympathy to the bereaved families and we pray of course for those that uh, are in hospital. Five students have been hurt falling two floors when a balcony rail gave way at a party. It happened at a hall of residence at Cambridge University. Two are seriously injured. Germany said it'll reject new demands for the EU ban on British beef exports to be lifted. Agriculture Minister Douglas Hogg's due in Luxembourg tomorrow to ask for the move in return for the slaughter of 42,000 cows from BSE-infected herds. Hoover's warning some of its new wave washing machines and dryers could be a fire risk. Owners are being asked to contact the company to get them checked. Radio 1 Newsbeat. I'm Jane Bolger. Radio 1. That's Melt Banana, a track from their LP Scratch or Stitch on Skin Graft Records. Type B for me is the title of it, and they're going to be playing in London, just the one gig, I think, in uh, Britain, uh, with uh, US Maple, that's at the garage, upstairs of the garage, on the 5th of May. And uh, how I should like to be there. Perhaps I will be, who can say? Anyway, Melt Banana, and this is another one from Magoo, in session tonight, Baxter Preminger. <laughs>
That's for going session, the last from them tonight. Uh, Baxter, no, hold on, yeah, Baxter Preminger is the title of it. And uh, this is from a compilation LP on Crapshoot Records called Murder One. There was going to be a great segue there, but, you know, like these things do sometimes, it just didn't sort of seem to really work out exactly. Anyway, this is Beta Blocker. Oh, hold on, before I play this, I, there's a letter. I had a letter of complaint, actually, from uh, uh, Stephen Mannheim, who wrote to me from Southport, and he said, uh, complaining about the fact that there seem to be fewer jungle records in the programme, or drum and bass records in the programme recently, along with things like uh, Alec Empire, Atari Teenage Riot, uh, Digital Hardcore stuff. Well, there just hasn't been that much stuff around, really, to be perfectly honest with you. And uh, obviously there is now a kind of jungle programme, so I haven't deliberately cut down on the drum and bass things, but, um, you know, uh, these, I mean, I've cut, had to cut down on everything. Thing, really, when it comes right down to it. Right, this is uh, the tune that I was about to play, Beta Blocker, this is Funky. Funky. 